Hey guys, this is Bacon Chris here, and it's been a while since I've been doing videos. So, I'm here in my bed, and you guys thought I might be sick, but I'm actually not really that sick. So, I wanted to do a video for YouTube talking about COVID-19, a.k.a. the coronavirus. Since February, the coronavirus is like some type of disease. It's hard for me to describe it because I'm not a doctor or in any like health fields. But it's really sad because deaths happen. A lot of people have died from the coronavirus and... And the coronavirus has been getting worse over the years. It really makes me sad. And it makes things worse. Because I, I feel like everyone should have a right to affordable health care too. And I also think everyone should have the right to feel better. Because... Life used to be great before the coronavirus. Nowadays, everyone has to be in lockdown. And the only places that are open are places for, like, essential needs. Places like Six Flags or... Or any place that's considered fun is actually closed for the... Closed due to the corona. It's kind of sad because... I just want to be able to enjoy my summer. But it looks like I might not be able to enjoy my summer. And what I want you guys to do is protect yourself from the coronavirus. Because this is terrible. Because I do not like when I see people die from this disease. It makes me sad. And... It's a, it's a shame that a lot of uh, places for fun, you know, are closed too. Like movie theaters and all the other stuff. But hey, you can still have fun at home too. You can watch a movie, make YouTube videos. So much fun stuff you can think of doing at your home. Or play video games too. Sometimes you can even purchase stuff online. So some of the best things to do is to prevent yourself from the coronavirus is wash your hands and not just wash your hands, but also it's best to take showers, stay six feet away from people, make sure your house is clean too, because you don't want others to get sick. Avoid... Um, spend less time going out because sometimes if you go out too much, you're more likely going to end up with the corona. And I believe everyone should have better health care. And, and I want everyone to not get the disease because it's really painful and it's, it's a shame that our that a lot of cities and plus it's even worse when it's worldwide because the coronavirus doesn't just happen in the United States it happens in all over the world people get on and off of airplanes and then they bring this disease I remember learning about diseases when I was in world history class because we were wor the world trade was about exchanging foods and crops and goods. And one of the things was diseases like polio, measles, and chicken pox. Those were some of the diseases that we got from Europe and Asia. And that they land in the United States. 
what I like to do to protect myself from the coronavirus, and I think everyone should do this, which is wear rubber gloves, wash your hands before touching, like, a food item. Like, for example, when I go to a supermarket, it's very important for me to wash my hands before I put bread on the bread slicer or, not just that, use tissue paper, you know, most bakeries tell you to do, and, you know, wash your hands with soap and water. And it's also good to carry some uh, hand sanitizer, and it's a shame that when you don't have much hand sanitizer, you know, a lot of stores are sold out of it, high demand, and that's just what's worse. This corona is supposed to end, hopefully, by April 30th. And I'm hoping that it doesn't end for, like, so many months. Maybe mid-May. I don't know. But, I don't know how that happened in the first place. But, it's just terrible. Because, I miss life. Being out, enjoying the open air. I mean, you could still do that, but you have to stay away from people. Or better yet, stay in your backyard. One interesting thing that I just found out about the coronavirus is that... Or what's happening right now is that... Restaurants are open. But all the dining restaurants... Restaurants are not allow, do not allow you to dine in. And they're doing this so, so that you don't get sick. Because if you're at places that have large crowd gatherings, then that's when most people get sick. But we don't want this to happen. And what I don't like is I don't like when people are not listening to doctors or other people about this sick disease. Because here's the thing. I want everyone, and this is what I want everyone to do. I want everyone to protect themselves, stay home more. And if they need to go out, they should be able to wear a face mask and gloves. It's nice that fast food places are open, and sometimes people don't know how to... People don't know how to cook, some people, but... I, I don't think it it's a good idea for you or me to get any, like, food restaurant takeout, like pizza or something, pizza, or, you know, fast food like McDonald's, Burger King, or Miller's Ale House takeout or delivery. Why is that? Because you never might know that the chef might have a corona, corona disease. But, you know, chefs have to make sure that they they keep themselves clean. And bacteria is very important to learn because that's one of the important lessons that I learned from culinary class when I was in high school. And the most important thing about chefs is that if they're extremely sick, they need to stay home because if they don't stay home, people can get sick. And it's not good. And I don't like when people don't listen when it comes to these very sick diseases because that's what I think because I haven't been going out to fast food in a long time now because I've been eating mostly at home for the safety of myself and I have plenty of food to keep me full so hopefully there is enough food for for me to last until the corona is over. And, yeah. I want people to, you know, get out more and be where they used to be and have, like, transportation to places, you know, places to go see doctors, too. And all that other f fun stuff, like whether it's for work or fun, you know. We need money. 
Everyone needs money, including myself and others. And not just that, but we also need a better change in our lives. We do need to make sure that we keep ourselves away from others, too, if we're sick. If we're sick, stay home. Find a better treatment. And it's always good to do research on these sicknesses. And if you guys have the, if any of you guys have the coronavirus right now, I hope you guys feel better because I care very deeply about what's happening to uh, the people who are affected by it. And it makes me sad when you guys don't listen or if anyone dies from the coronavirus because deaths are happening and it's worse that it's going all over the world. Everyone needs to stay clean and everyone needs to exercise, drink plenty of fluids. The best food to eat is soup. I like to eat soup when I'm sick. So, So right now, I was sick before last week. But I didn't get, like, the corona. But what I was able to do to keep myself from not getting sick is by eating plenty of soup. I mean, I'm not a doctor, but that's what I always do. The best the best soup to eat is chicken noodle soup. You know, soup that is not thick and creamy. But, yeah. So, this is... What I'm hoping for, for the corona to end. So, we all need to be patient, and we all need to find something fun to do. One of the things that I can do for fun is be able to find ways to make some money, hopefully. But also, find something fun for for me to do. You can watch Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, or anything on TV or movies. You can also play video games on your PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, or whatever console you have. You can talk to friends, but it's best to not see them in person, so... It's best to just talk. And college students, it's best to stay home and, you know, work online, hopefully. And for kids that are at school, it's best to get them educated because we need these kids back at school because school is about learning about safety and understanding what's around the world. Yeah, so school is very important for children. And that's what I highly support for children. So, yes. So, that's all I have to say for this video on the coronavirus. And if you like this video, that's great. Give it a thumbs up or tell me how awesome it is. And if you don't like this video, that's okay. So, so this is all I have to say. This is Bacon Chris signing off.